With six studio albums, a Grammy, and countless of tours under their belts, Deftones must have chalked up many wild after parties. But now in their late 30s, have the Deftones toned down? What is life like really on tour? You know, like, um, we hear about the groupies, we hear about the, the parties and stuff like that, um, but what is life really like? Is it, is it fun? We have parties sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, like, like you said, we're always listening to music and dance. Our parties mm-hmm. don't consist of, I think, what people ex- expect them to consist of. It's not always crazy and, okay. you know, uh, but it's fun. You know, we, lo- we enjoy each other's company, we listen to music, we, uh, we dance, we, we, you know, we hang out, we have country tigers. Uh, I'm not going to say it was always like that. We we were wild. I think a lot a lot more wild in our, in our younger age. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it kind of comes with the territory of being in a rock band and exp- you know, or being a kid really, and and being thrown into the world and just playing music all around the world. I mean, as a kid, you just you know you kind of lose yourself in it. But I think as we've grown older, um, we're a little bit more responsible these days. You know, and I think uh, you know we're parents. You know, a few of us are parents, mm-hmm. and we you know we have children. I have teenage kids myself, so. Um, so I, I'm pretty responsible to a certain extent. You know what I mean? Like I said, I still have a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, it's not it's not like as crazy it's as I think people would. Sustainable. It's sustainable. Turn. Sustainable turn. We need a little bit of balance. And yeah. Good times. Do our laundry. Work out. And the band lives for touring, and with all that experience playing to thousands of people, does it get easier or harder playing their material? Does it easier as you grow older to play your your songs? You know, your older songs. Or does it get harder? No, I mean. It, I wouldn't say it gets easier or whatever. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe we get better because we played them so many times. Mm-hmm. I was thinking that the other day because um, someone was telling me that we've already played like 180 something shows this in this last year or something like that. So I was thinking, man, we we got to be pretty good, right? It's, it's, it's good right now if we if we play that many shows, you know. Uh, but but I mean, so it might be easier in that way because you know it's it's pretty much like you know second nature because we do it all the time. Yeah. But um. You know, I can't say that every show is, is just like, you know, that, that we're on autopilot because there's a lot of thinking and a lot of like, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, you just got to, you got to get in that, in that mind frame a lot of times, you know what I mean? It's like, even you know, how, even how much you love music, it's like, uh, you know, if you're doing it every single day, it's like, you know, you, you, uh, you know, sometimes your head can get, go, you know, in all types of places, so you have to be focused, I think. Yeah. So what is the best thing about touring then? To me, the highlight is the act of playing. You know, it's like okay. when we're playing and then you're just like looking at people and they're looking back, you know, and just like making eye contact and you're playing songs and it just feels so good and, mm-hmm. and I feel good about the music and then you know that there's that return and it, it creates this cyclical thing that even... See, the, you know, the other day when we played a, a Kuala Lumpur, yeah. there was a point in the set where I just stopped singing because the crowd was singing so loud, like, and I just held the microphone up and it was like, and we've been all over the world and, um, and... I've never heard a crowd sing sing as loud, sing back to me as loud as they were. And I didn't even ask them to. They just were like, it was amazing. And, and uh, yeah, that was our first time there. So that that was a feeling. And like they were singing to like a, a song that's, you know, came out in 2000. I mean, that's, that's like 11 years old, you know, yeah. that song that we were playing. And they were singing along to. And it was just like, you know, it was amazing to just be, you know, in this, this part of the world so far from home and, and, and to feel that, you know, that love. You know, it was, yeah. it was awesome. What's the difference? 